हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स स्क्वायरिंग द नंबर्स स्पेशली द नंबर्स व्हिच आर लाइक थ्री डिजिट फोर डिजिट नंबर्स इवन फाइव डिजिट नंबर्स द ट्रिक्स आर सो मेनी एंड हाउ डू यू रिमेंबर ऑल दोज ट्रिक्स यू नीड टू बी लिटिल स्मार्ट विद दीज नंबर्स यू नो फॉर विच यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर्स वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स हियर इज यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द नंबर हु स्क्वायर इज टू बी फाउंड आउट like in this video i am going to take up squaring of numbers which are near a base like it can be near to uh, say 700 uh, which is like 9 uh, 692 or something or maybe a 712 right or it can be near to a uh, 1200 1207 right so all these numbers can be squared using this amazing short trick which i am going to tell you right now in this particular video This is something exclusive which I don't think uh, I could find on YouTube before. So you need to watch the entire video, and if you like the video, do share it with all your friends so that they also come to know about these amazing mathematics short tricks which are available to us, right? And needless to say, if you have not subscribed the channel till now, please click uh, click subscribe here, and along with that, click the subs uh, the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications. of all these useful uploads on this amazing channel right so let's take one example and understand how this goes and then i'll take some higher big big numbers also okay you are going to enjoy this i guarantee let's take the example of squaring 197 so i know that this is very close to 200 right so makes my task all the more easier so i write 197 times 197 and i will try to convert one of these numbers into the base number so if i add 3 to this i get a 200 now so what do i have to do i have to do the balancing act now what is the balancing act balancing act is when i have added 3 to this number i have to subtract 3 from this number so what do i get i get 194 Now multiplying 197 and 197 is tricky, but multiplying 200 and 194 is easy, right? Why? Because we have two zeros here, and two times four is eight. Two times nine is eighteen, so eight and a one carry. Two times one is two plus one three. So three hundred zero zero is that the answer? Not at all. We have one more step coming up. What is to be added to this? How much this number? Uh, you, when you converted this number to a base number, how much did you add, or how much did you subtract? Three, right? So just add three square to the result, and three square happens to be nine. So just add nine to the result, and now watch the magic: three eight eight zero nine. Pick up your calculators, friends, and check one ninety seven square. Is that three eight eight zero nine? And you are really going to be. amazed and surprised oh does it work for all numbers near the common base i am going to prove it to you right now so i'll take one more number very close to uh, what uh, say 200 only but this time it will be more than 200 okay so how about taking 206 square so this is 206 times 206 perfect now if i reduce this by 6 this will become 200 but in that case i'll have to increase this by 6 this becomes 212 now multiply these two 00 212 the double is 424 and what to add to this this number square that is 36 and now 42436 happens to be the square of 206 and now these are the things which are which take place in mind you know and this is the beauty of mental mathematics when somebody else shows it to you know you will feel like oh my god so many steps are there in this but when you do it yourself you realize this is not that bad right <laughs> okay let's see another question uh, can we take a number very close to 300 maybe okay 307 let's take 307 so 307 times 307 Uh, reduce this by seven, you get three hundred, and uh, reduce. I I think uh, I've already reduced, so I have to increase this by seven. This gets me three hundred and fourteen. So zero zero 
and 3 times 4 is 12 to 1 carry so 4 and 3 times 3 is 9 add what 7 square 49 to the result you get 9 4 2 4 9 there we go 9 4 2 4 9 that is the square of 307 now I'm taking, I'm being very smart, right? I'm taking numbers which are very small and they can be multiplied directly also. Let me show you the beauty of this trick by taking higher numbers. Suppose I have 491 square. So 491 times 491. See, I'm going to speed up now, okay? So if I increase this by 9, this becomes 500. So I have to reduce this by 9. So 491 minus 9 is 482, right? So double zero, 5 twos are 10, 0, 1 carry. So 5 ones are 40, 41 means 1, and 4 carry. 5 fours are 20, 24. 2, 4, 1, triple zero. Add what? The square of 981 to the result, you get 1, 8, 0, 1, 4, 2, 241081 that is the square of 491 Whew. easy right it's getting easier give me a thumbs up come on in the comments you need to uh, tell me whether you have seen this trick before or not and you have not seen it and you are not sharing it that's not done friends come on you got to share it okay <laughs> wow so let's take another number, say 889 square. Now see, I'm increasing difficulty for myself and I'll test myself whether I can actually do this or not. So 889 times 889. So if I add 11 to this, this will become 900. And if I subtract 11 from this, this will become 878, 878, right? Now multiplication, so 0, 0, 9 8s are 72, so 2 and a 7. 9 7s are 63, 70, so 0 and a 7. 9 8s are 72 and 7, 79, so 7 9 0 2 double 0. 11 square is 121, so 1, 2, 3, 0, 9, 7. Pick up the calculators now and let me know in the comments. 7 9 0 3 2 1 is my answer correct because this is a live demonstration. Live recording is going on, I'm testing myself also whether I can actually do justice with this method or not. Okay. This is not done friends. Yet, you know, if even if I practiced 50, 60 questions and I'm doing it live here, yet I'm feeling that I need more practice. So that's what mental maths is. More the practice, more the confidence. Okay. Now I'm going to test myself with four digit numbers. Let's go. Here we have a number. 1, 2, 0, 8 square. So 1, 2, 0, 8 times 1, 2, 0, 8. When I reduce this by 8, I get 1200. And when I increase this by 8, I get 1216. Now the multiplication part. So I know the 12 times table. So 0, a 0, 12, 6 are 72, 2 and a 7, 12 ones are 12, 19, 9 and a 1. 12 twos are 24, 25, 5 and a 2, 12 ones are 12 and 2, 14. So 1, 4, 5, 9, 2, double 0. Add what? The square of 8, 64 to the result. My answer is ready. 1, 4, 5, 9, 2, 6, 4. Wow. And I don't think I have that much confidence, you know. I, I think this will be correct. So let's check another one. Big number. 1, 4, 9, 3 square. Very close to 1500. So 1493 times 1493. Increase this by 7, I get 1500. And reduce this by 7, I get 1493 minus 7 is 86. Right? Now, two zeros, perfect. 15, 6 are 90, 0, 9. 15, 8s are 120. 129 means 9 and 12. 15 fours are 60, 72 means 2 and a 7, 15 ones are 15 plus 7, 22. So 2, 2, 2, 9, triple 0 and 7 square is 49. That will give me my final answer. 2, 2, 2, 9, 0, 4, 9. That is the square of 1, 4, 9, 3 square. The only thing is you should know 15 times table well. So when you are very good in your basics, when you are very, very good in your basic tables like up to 20, 
these things are going to be a cake walk for you and i assure you when you follow all these tricks which i have been putting on the channel suresh agarwal's mathematic shortcuts you will become one of those 0.5% people who know these things and no competitive exam will be difficult for you whether you are a school student or a college student or somebody aspiring to clear a placement exam so practice a lot do uh, take like 40 50 such questions very close to any base number any rounded hundreds like it can be um 2892 uh, also 2892 square you can find the square using this method so let me know in the comments whether you understood this and whether it is working for you or not all the best for your practice